at the start of Christ's ministry, it was his time to read the scripture at the synagogue and the passage which was his to read on that particular Sabbath day was this passage from Isaiah which is here repeated in the Gospel of Luke. So Jesus stood up, took the scrolls, and this is what he read. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The year of the Lord's favor is the jubilee year which in the Old Testament happened once every 50 years. It was a time when all property rights would revert to their original owners, a time when slaves would be set free and the economy would basically be reset. Debts would be forgiven. So Jesus, reading serendipitously from Isaiah, said that this is the reason that he had come to earth to fulfill his earthly ministry. His ministry was not to the rich and comfortable, but as prophesied in this scripture, to the poor, to captives, to the blind, and to the oppressed. To the oppressed he came to bring liberty. Slaves set free. To the blind he came to bring sight. To the captives he came to bring liberty. Prisoners set free. And to the poor he came to bring good news. Or, in other words, the gospel, because that's what the gospel means. It literally means good news. So if you look at the cause and effect, the oppressed are set at liberty, the blind get their sight back. Captives likewise are set free. Then the poor will no longer be poor. Through the proclamation of the gospel. So why do people denigrate the prosperity gospel? Because this is literally what Jesus is saying here. That through the proclamation of the gospel, the poor will be made rich. Of course, it doesn't mean that they are going to be driving around in Mercedes to their weekend homes by the beach. It doesn't say that. But... Neither does it say that they will not be driving to the uh, weekend. It doesn't say that. But neither does it say that they will not be driving Mercedes to their weekend home. This is just something to think about. The gospel is not about poverty. Quite the contrary, the gospel of Christ, as he declared it on that Sabbath day, quoting from Isaiah the prophet, 
is to free the oppressed, to give sight to the blind, to set captives free, and to free the poor from their poverty. In other words, if a gospel that is being preached does not elevate poor people out of poverty, it not it's if a gospel being preached does not elevate the poor out of poverty, it isn't really the gospel of Christ, is it? The gospel of Christ is a gospel of prosperity. And so, it should bear evidence. You got to